Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a roundup of fragrances that have gone viral. If they're worth the hype, what I think about them now, some of these aren't talked about as much anymore. Some of these are still very much popular. So I guess without further ado, let's jump into the first fragrance. The first fragrance is from BDK and this one is Grease Chanel. And this fragrance was going viral, I think about two years ago, maybe three years ago, but I think it was about two years ago. It was before I had my own YouTube channel. And I remember being really sucked into the hype of this one. The notes sounded like something I would enjoy. And I ended up blind purchasing it. Now I do really love this scent profile. I think it's a very chic, classy fragrance, signature scent worthy for sure. But I have had this two years, maybe a year and a half, and you can see I haven't made a huge dent in it. That's not to say that I don't like this fragrance because I really do, but I don't ever feel like I have the right situation to wear it that often. For me, this is a bit of a rainy day scent. It's a moody, I would say cooler weather scent. Not everyone will agree with me on that statement, but that's how I perceive it personally. And I do think this is incredibly chic, as I've mentioned. The perfect combination of fig and sandalwood. It's a very cozy fragrance. I do think it's really, really good. I'm not sure why people don't speak about it anymore. I do still see people recommending it, but nowhere near what they used to. So let me know, are you a fan of Gris Chanel? Or maybe you dislike Gris Chanel. I just would love to hear your feedback down in the comments. And do you still see people talking about this one? Maybe I am not watching the right content, but anyway, the first fragrance is Gris Chanel by BDK. Next up is La Perla Possibilities. And I am definitely guilty of hyping this one up too. I really, really love this scent. However, I have not been wearing it and I have not been recommending it in at least nine months now because it has been sold out everywhere and I have not been able to find it. Anytime I've wanted to feature it in a video, I've gone online to check if I can find it in stock and I cannot. I've had messages from people asking me if I know where they can buy it and I couldn't find it. So if you know any information about that, please do let me know down in the comments because whether or not it's being discontinued or it's just actually a stock problem, I would love to know, but I still do love this scent. For me, it's a bit of a signature scent, but I haven't been using it because I have a very small bottle here. I can't repurchase a big bottle and I don't know if it's being discontinued, so it has scared me a little bit. But do people still speak about this one? I've definitely not seen anyone speak about it for a while whether or not that's because it's out of stock or people have just forgotten about it and moved on. But I do think this is a fantastic scent. Yes, it's not groundbreaking, but I do connect with it. I think it's very sexy and I still highly recommend La Perla Possibilities if you can somehow get your hands on it. Next up is Blanche Bette by Liquid Imaginaires and this one went incredibly viral. It was a little bit of a slow burn at first. I saw just a few creators talking about this one and then suddenly it blew up. And I sat on this one for a while. I saw Sharida talking about it quite a lot, but it featured a note of tuberose. So I just wasn't sure it was going to be for me. It's really hard to sample in the UK, but I do really love the scent profile. Now, I personally haven't been wearing it that much. I don't know if you can see the juice in the bottle. It's still very high up. That's not to say I don't think this is a fantastic fragrance. I have 500 fragrances in my collection now. I have so many samples too that I am trying constantly. It is pretty impossible for me to make dents in my fragrances at the moment. And I'm also not an oversprayer like some other content creators. So I do struggle to make dents if you're wondering, but I do have to admit, I haven't been reaching for this one. I did have a 10 ml atomizer of it first. I did go through that. I think this is worth the hype. 
There is something very magical about it, but I just haven't been reaching for it for whatever reason. But I think the hype is also starting to die down on this one. I do still see people talking about it, but nowhere near as much as at the beginning. So yeah, Blanche Bet I think is a really great fragrance. I would recommend sampling it first, but let me know what you think about this one. Next up is God of Fire by Stefan Humbert Lucas. And this fragrance definitely went viral at one point. I was definitely one of the people that was loving on it and maybe hyping it up too. And I still think it is worth the hype. I think this one will start to get spoken about a lot more when it comes into spring and summer again. It's still popular, but nowhere near as it was in spring and summer last year. So it's still kind of early in the popular phase, but I truly feel like this one is worth the hype. It is such a fantastic mango fragrance. It's mango, but then it has an airy sweet quality to it as well. There's a bite from ginger. And I've seen a few people saying that it has a kind of Baccarat Rouge DNA to it. And I do get what they mean. It has that sponge sugar, airy, sweet vibe about it. But then you've got the mango and you've got the bite from the ginger. This one performs so incredibly well in the spring and the summer. But you can wear this in the fall and the winter too, in my opinion. I do think this one is worth the hype. It will forever be one of my favorites from the brand. I also love Mango Kiss. They're similar but different. So yeah, curious to see if this one will start to get popular again this spring and summer, but God of Fire is one that I feel like deserves the hype. Next up is Grand Soir by MFK. And this fragrance recently went viral on TikTok. And to be fair, it's been popular on Instagram and YouTube for quite a while, not viral level until a video on TikTok recently. And I love Grand Soir. This one was actually sold out for a hot minute last year. It was really hard to get your hands on, but it is back in stock now. It is a very classy amber fragrance, a little bit powdery. It's got some vanilla in there. Is unisex, slightly leaning masculine in my opinion. I think this is phenomenal. My husband wears this one quite often. I do wear it too. And funnily enough, we went to a wedding recently and I picked this one out for him to wear. I also wore it, but I layered it with Bianco Latte and that was a phenomenal pairing actually. Grand Soir is really, really classy. And if you are looking for an incredibly chic, amber fragrance that has a slight vintage vibe to it. It's warm, it's comforting, and it's sexy too, in my opinion, then I would highly recommend checking out Grand Soir. I was surprised to see this one go viral on TikTok because I don't feel like it's one of their most popular DNAs, but I was happy to see it go viral because I think it's one of their best fragrances. Next up is Amouage Guidance, and I thought I would include a couple of fragrances that are currently viral right now. This one has been viral for a hot minute since it launched. People are going crazy crazy over guidance. And I do understand why, because I have received some crazy compliments wearing this one. And I myself have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with guidance. I've said that before on my channel. I like it, but I find it a little bit overbearing on me sometimes. It's so, so powerful. And when I do wear it, I try to just do two sprays and then I can tolerate it. I think the composition is beautiful. And when I smell it from the lid, I think, yes, I can see why this is viral. But when I wear it, it's so, so strong that for some reason I just can't handle it. So yeah, I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this, but I truly do understand why it's going viral. It smells unique, has insane projection and longevity, gets so many compliments, a very likable DNA. So yeah, I do feel like Amouage Guidance deserves to be viral. And last, but by no means least, we have Bianco Latte. Of course, I had to include this one in the video. This one is currently viral. It's been going viral for a hot minute too, just as Guidance has. And I had this fragrance before it went viral too. I can't even remember who I saw talking about it first, but I knew I had to have it in my collection. And this is one of the best vanillas that I own. 
And I've explained it in other videos. There is a reason for that. And it is because it's one of the best performing vanillas in my collection. And I think that is why it's so viral and so popular. It leaves an insane scent trail. It's another fragrance that gets insane compliments like Guidance. And I do put that down to the strength of the fragrance because people can definitely smell it in the air around you. To me, this smells like caramelized condensed milk and vanilla. Really, really delicious. I'm not gonna stick on this one either because I have spoken about this fragrance so, so much, but this one is definitely worth the hype. It sells out all of the time, but I will link somewhere where you can get it down below. So I know I've only spoken about fragrances that have gone viral and that I personally like, and that is purely because I have the bottles in my collection. If you wanna see a part two of this of viral fragrances that did not work out for me or that I do not like, please do let me know down in the comments because I do feel like that will be such a fun video. And trust me, there are a lot of popular fragrances that I do not like. So yeah, let me know if that interests you. But what I want to know is what are the viral fragrances or the popular fragrances in your collection that you absolutely adore and you think are worth the hype? please do let me know down in the comments below. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much and goodbye.